am Groovy Flu. Today I'm going to show you how to assign materials to a box in 3D Max 7 with eye in view in mind. Okay, first of all, my very first starting point that I ever do when I'm making anything for eye in view is to merge in the standing avatar, just it gives me a kind of visual scale idea. So if I go into, into Merge, under the File menu, I actually have a girl standing file which I will put on my website if anyone wants to download it. I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, I've selected the file, click Open, select the girl standing and hit OK. Sometimes when you're new in 3D Max you start building things and then put it in Eye View and it's absolutely tiny. So it's just a good visual judge. Okay, so we have a girl standing. So if I make a box, I'm gonna draw it from the top. Let's make it rough. And I'm just gonna do it 300 by 300 by 300. There we go. And we'll center it to the middle of the scene. There we go, that's perfectly centered. Now, if I exported that like it is to eye in view, the box wouldn't show up because it doesn't know what colours to do it, what materials or textures to apply to it. So we need to go into the material editor. Now, I usually go and hit this button up here, which brings up the material editor. Now, for eye in view, you need to use what they call a multi sub object. So this texture we're running here needs to be converted to one. So I hit this button here, which says standard and instead double click or select it and hit OK where it says multi sub object and I usually get rid of all the old material. Now you'll see this one material slot here is split into um, 10. You can add more with the add button so you can have as many textures as you like but for now we're only going to need six so first material slot. I'm going to do one texture on each side of this box. So I'll set up my material editor first. So the first material that I want to use is, sorry I'll go back a step there. Um, I'm going to select the material, select diffuse colour and then bitmap. Now I've already set up a few textures here for me to use. So I'm just going to click number one. <coughs> I'm going to go up till you see the screen and check this box here which will make the material show up in my preview window. And I'll go ahead and do number two and so on. We'll just do that quickly. Two. Switch it on. That's three. That'll do for now. Now, Iron View has a naming convention, and if you don't get it right, um, your materials will not show up in your mesh. <coughs> so you you select the material you want, and in this box up here, you need to type. It doesn't really matter what you call it, the actual name of it, but I just normally type. This will be M 0 which is the Iron View material slot zero. Um, if it was a room or something, I would call it, you know, like wall or floor or <coughs> whatever. But the essential bit is in square brackets, type in the material number, which in this instance will be zero. I am you start at material ID zero, whereas max starts at one. So you need to put this in so I am you knows what it's doing. Um, I'll go there and then I'll go to the next one down. So. In my case, that'll be M01, and in square brackets goes 01. And again for M02, it's M02 in square brackets. I didn't switch that one on. So that's how to correctly set up the naming convention for your material editor. Now, we want this box to have those materials on. So the box is already selected. It needs to be, <coughs> excuse me, an editable poly. You can either right click on the box on the second tab along and 
Physical Poly. Let's get rid of that one. Or you can actually right click physically in the viewing window. Now, it's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes if you've got the move tool and you're in the window, we'll try and you can accidentally nudge it and bump it as you're trying to select it. I'll just hit that. No, let's just enter it in. But I'll do it anyway. Convert to. Oh. And my graphics card is going nuts here. Editable poly. So there we go. Now we can see that we have the editable poly with all your different editing options. I won't go into what they all do, but I'll just show you how to assign your texture. With just the editable poly bit selected, I will click this button which assigns the material to the object. Now I normally hit element and select it which selects every part of the box. And if I scroll down to here, polygon properties. Now this is where you set up your materials. Um, the smoothing groups I only use is to clear them all, just quickly click clear all, or you can double, you know, you can click on and off to, to do them. This introduces your shading and stuff, but that's another one. Um, if we want this whole box to be, say, M0, like every single side of it, we need to tell it what um, ID it is. Now, the ID is listed here in this column. So in this case, the M0 is actually ID 1. So we put in F set ID, fit one in, hit enter. And there you'll see the whole box is covered in that texture. <coughs> now, if we want to have each face um, a different texture. So I'm selected. We're hitting the polygon mode, selecting the polygon we want. Scroll back down, and you'll see you still have in the polygon mode the properties here. We'll set this ID to two, which will be this texture here. And there you'll see it's changed. And we'll just go ahead and do this other one, I think. We'll do that one and set it as ID three, <coughs> which is M02. This this is why I name them with the M numbers, so I know what where I'm at, and I always know that if it's M02, the ID is going to be one number above. It's going to be three. So there we go. That's how to assign your materials to your um, objects. Now, there is another way of doing it. I personally don't like this method at all. Um, what I will do is I'll quickly draw another box and I will show you this way. This tends to be extremely buggy for me. Um, and I just generally, I just have problems doing it this way. So it's editable poly. Now, what you can do is you can take this and drag it and dump it on. You can also do this within poly mode. And just drag and drop it. Now, that has actually done it correctly. I find sometimes it just doesn't, the material, although you see it, it just doesn't take properly. It just doesn't export correctly the correct way of doing it is the first method I showed you there so I would learn to do it that way I know it's a little bit more fiddly and a little bit more work but it's going to work you're not going to have problems when you get into preview and find there's materials missing and you know things just don't look right so there you go that's how to set up your material editor for IMVU <coughs>